This Kello Land Living segment is sponsored by Avera Health, moving health forward. You don't have to handle the stressors of life on your own. Rely on Avera's team of compassionate mental health providers and specialists to get the support you need. We all know the feeling. The sun beats down relentlessly, the air hangs heavy with moisture, and even the simplest of tasks feels like an effort. We've all heard of the medical experts advice on how to deal with the physical effects of hot steamy weather, but did you ever stop to consider the emotional toll the heat can take? Our next guest is Sarah Vantel. She's the Outpatient Behavioral Health Manager with Avera. Sarah's here to help us get a grip on how to face the hot, steamy weather that's gone one day, only to return with a vengeance a few days later. She understands that it can be a lot. So welcome, Sarah. Wow. Thank you. I am sure this affects, I don't, okay, this probably affects me, but I see it with my kids more, but it's, I'm sure about all of too. us, yeah. right? <laughs> like, we're all oh, probably absolutely. affected. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the ways that hot weather can affect your mental health, your mood? Yeah, no, absolutely. The, the hot weather can make us feel angry. It can get us frustrated um, and irritable. Um, you know, the hot weather increases our stress and irritability. Um, we don't sleep as well. When it's hot in our bedroom, we right. don't sleep as mm -hmm. well. Um, and sleep is one of the basics of uh, a healthy mental uh, attitude and, and being able to, to move to move forward. Um, it also reduces our motivation. Mm -hmm. Who wants to work Yeah, when you go outside and it's yucky outside? So with kids, they need to move those large motor uh, skills to be feeling better. And it's just, it's not fun to be outside in that, in that weather or, or such. And so the other thing is, is that dehydration um, can mm -hmm. cause um, the release of a stress hormone a cortisol. Really? Dehydration yes. can help you, can actually release the stress hor hormone. Mm -hmm. oh. It releases. And Didn't so then you're, you're more tired. Mm. You, you might even have, see some cognitive, like a mental fogginess huh. um, and mood swings. So that's probably always that dehydration comes to mind too. Like any way that you can get dehydrated, mm -hmm. heat or alcohol consumption or Absolutely. just lack of water. And you mentioned Absolutely. it makes you more tired, but you're already tired because of the lack of sleep that you're it's having. It's compounding. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's all compounding. Are there certain mental conditions that it actually exasperates that it makes worse and uh, with this with the heat absolutely absolutely anybody who has a history of anxiety or depression that can affect it as well it also affects the medications that they take for um, the anxiety and depression um, it can increase um, some of our, our self-harm behaviors that we're, we're we're wanting to hurt ourselves or, or whatnot um, kids act out a little bit more yeah when it's hot mm. right and so that is a huge part of it as well I'm guessing a Part of that is the compounding nature of not having enough sleep, um, how just irritable you are. Also, because kids need to get active mm -hmm. and they don't want to when it's too hot. Mm -hmm. So then it's like compounding both like lack of activity, boredom, too hot, everything. Well, and we've also, in the, in the summertime, we, we are no longer in school. And so we don't have as much routine, mm -hmm. potentially, or we're taking vacations. And then that compounds it as well. Right. It can also, can it affect your decision making, the heat? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yep. Those, How? It can, it can affect <laughs> your ability, your memory. Oh, Once gosh. again, those cortisol levels come out. Um, it affects your memory, your, memory. Your, your, your ability to handle stress as what well. If, um, what are the signs that it might be, that the heat might be negatively impacting somebody's mental health? Like what should we look for? If you're, looking, if you're uh, highly irritable, mm -hmm. you um, may notice that you're, you, you're a little bit grumpier than normal. Um, maybe you are, um, you, you know, needing an increase in, in, water, mm -hmm. right. water <laughs> consumption, um, and just basically just noticing that maybe I have a headache, maybe I'm super tired, maybe maybe I just need a, a little bit of a boost. So mm -hmm. when Mitchell gets the hot weather grumpies, what, and how should I tell him about that? What, how, what, what could my approach be when I recognize it in somebody else that maybe <laughs> makes it better, not worse? Yeah, I believe I do get them. I think be, just be supportive and, okay. and let them know, hey, I see that you're really struggling right now. <laughs> what can we do to help you get through this part of the, of, of the day? Yeah. I'd like to revisit for a minute. You said it can really affect the way medication works, too. Mm -hmm. um, are there particular medications that are more affected by heat or anything that you know, you should watch out for in that mental health space. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the thing is, is that you, 
anytime you take a medication, you want to be mindful of the way it affects your body and and whether it's working or not. Um, you know, to be able to say there's a blanket yeah. medication that that we're going to have some warning signs for isn't necessarily, uh, we're you not able to do that, but you just have home. to be very mindful and cognizant of how it affects your body. How about ADHD? Well, once again, <laughs> it's really... Asking for a friend. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can give you a case study on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. Um, you know, they did a study on college students mm -hmm. who, um, and, and so it's hard to say that the heat affected it. So they did a study on college students that found college students that were in dorms that had air conditioning. Oh, that's a good study. Okay. Were able to more cognitively manage their um, all all of their day to day things, whether it be their their emotions or or their schoolwork. Uh, students that were in non air conditioned um, dorms yeah. were found to really struggle with that. Wow. And so when you go back to the ADHD, mm -hmm. you know, are they taking their medications like they're supposed to? Because mm -hmm. we're maybe off on a different schedule, right. or you know, we're not doing the things that we normally do. We're not getting the activities that help our body, that, that fuel our body. And so it's really hard yep. to say that it's just heat, right? Mm -hmm. but it could be a combination of many different things. And so. that's why my freshman year, I got to be in calculus. Yeah. I haven't figured out. I was in an old dorm. Let's talk about ways to get rid of the grumpies. I figured it out. We pinpointed it. Yes. So yes. how do you get rid of the grumpies? So you're going to want to make sure that you are staying hydrated. You're drinking as much as you possibly can. Um, make sure that you're, you're fueling your body with good uh, food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful that now we're, we're kind of in gardening season, so there's a lot of opportunity to get that fresh produce and um, fruit and, and all of that. And so take advantage of that. Uh, make sure that you're getting your rest. It's really easy to get caught up in the summer with the different schedule, um, the, the, the rhythm of mm -hmm. the day. You know, we're, we're up um, you know, we're able to stay up later because yep. the sun's up. It's hard to convince your kids to go to bed exactly. when the sun's still Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So make sure that you are sleeping mm -hmm. um, well as well. You mentioned yeah. loose fitting clothing um, and light clothing, also even light colors in mm -hmm. clothing. You know, yep. I didn't realize how much of a, a difference that makes, but make sure the colors are light, like, you know, whites and... Yeah, and that. black just soaks it all yep. in. So if you're out and about, you know, stay in, stay in when you can, especially in those those days that are really super hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose and when you see that in yourself or your kids, even just finding temporary coolness could mm -hmm. probably lift your mood. I see that sure. with you. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I, for some reason, I cannot handle heat. No, I he really can't. doesn't like it. He so, carries a fan around. It's a I, oh fan. boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you can see it right around. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. <laughs> Thank you. Avera is dedicated to providing the best possible health care to their patients. If you have a question about Avera Behavioral's mental health services or would like to find a location nearest you to schedule an appointment, you can find out more online at avera.org forward slash services forward slash behavioral dash mental dash health. You can also call them at Sioux Falls at 605-322-4065. You can reach Avera Behavioral Health Urgent Care toll free at 1-800-691-4336. If you are someone you love is in danger, if you are, or someone you love is in danger, please call the nationwide 24 seven crisis line by dialing 988. This Kello Land Living segment has been sponsored by Avera Health, moving health forward. You don't have to handle the stressors of life on your own. Rely on Avera's team of compassionate mental health providers and specialists to get the support you need.